my name is Professor Stacy Hawkins, and I want to take a moment to talk about the use of race in college and university admissions. In the last 10 years, at least five suits have been filed in federal court challenging the use of race in college and university admissions. And over the last 20 years, the United States Supreme Court has decided this issue four times. But why do we care so much about whether colleges and universities use race as one of many factors in deciding which students to admit? After all, many colleges and universities can, and most often do, consider a host of factors beyond academic credentials in determining which students to admit. Things like gender, geography, even family history, all without any concern. But when colleges and universities consider race as one of the factors, courts are required to scrutinize those decisions more closely. One of the reasons is because the schools most likely to consider race in admissions are also some of the nation's most selective colleges and universities. Schools like Harvard and Yale, both of which have been the subject of recent litigation. Admission to these schools is highly coveted. People care about who gets into these schools and how. But the reality is, these schools represent only a fraction of all colleges and universities and they enroll an even smaller share of all students. For instance, only 0.4% of all students attend one of the Ivy League schools like Harvard or Yale. So the more important reason why we care so much about this issue is because of the problematic history of race in this country. We're all, of course, familiar with that history. It begins with slavery, and it continued well into the second half of the 20th century when we continued to enforce Jim Crow segregation laws even well after slavery had ended. Because of this history of race, courts have determined that we have to pay particularly close attention when we formally use race in decision-making processes. And although the Supreme Court has said that race is almost never a relevant criterion in decision-making, the court has acknowledged that race is important for colleges and universities to be able to consider in deciding which students to admit because of the educational benefits that accrue when they have a diverse student body. What we now know is that classroom diversity enriches the student experience because of the different perspectives that students of different racial and ethnic backgrounds bring to classroom discussion. We also know that cross-racial interactions uh, allow students to develop the cultural competence they need to succeed in a global workplace. And so, the next time you are wondering whether colleges and universities can or even should consider race in their admissions process, just ask yourself one question. Would you want to attend a college or university where they can't guarantee you the benefits of student body diversity?